Hi and welcome to a new tutorial of my series NXCAD Secrets. Today it's about the delete function which you can find within Synchronous Modeling Group. And I'm going to show you something very powerful. I'm going to use this within my parametric construction to create something very stable. I'm going to show you a pocket design based on a sketch and I will afterwards just change the curves of my sketch without causing any problems by use of the delete function. So first of all, I need a main body that I'm going to extrude based on my basic coordinate system. Start with a rectangle, use the from center method like this. Right click finish sketch is the fastest way to finish a sketch. I'm going to return this direction by middle mouse button. The target is to create a pocket which I can copy and paste to something more complex, of course and it will all based on this coordinate system. So I'm going to create a sketch first related to this top datum plane and draw a profile, just something weird. Dimensions are not important right now. I'm going to edit this later. Finish sketch. And I'm also going to extrude this. And you can see the selection rule here is connected curves. That's bad. So you should always use a relation to the overall sketch instead of curves from the sketch. So you should always use the feature curves. But anyway, no matter what is declared here, if you select a sketch from the part navigator and you right click the curves, you can see it's feature curves. It's always the complete feature. I'm gonna reverse this and just type in another depth. Important now, it should not be subtracted, so I'm going to set this to none. And you could also use symmetric value because it will be subtracted afterwards. I'm going to edge blend my overall curves by use of a selection rule called body edges. So every edge on this body, no matter how many edges are included, are selected now. My problem now is that these edges related to the top and related to the bottom, they have different values. So now I'm going to use the delete function from synchronous modeling. There is a selection rule called adjacent faces, meaning all the neighbor faces from my first and second, here you can see in the preview, all the neighbor faces to this top and bottom face are going to be deleted. And the cool thing is that the extrude always has one top and one bottom face. So this relation is going to maintain after exchanging the curves from my sketch. I'm going to edge blend those edges again by just another value. So this use case makes sense if you have different values in the section and top and bottom adjacent edges. And here I'm going to use face edges. So it's also a relation to my top face and my bottom face of my extrusion. So no matter how many curves you exchange within the sketch or delete within the sketch, it's going to maintain middle mouse button twice. And there's something I forgot. I forgot to create a draft. I should have done this before. Um, let's create a draft. I'm going to choose my vector from my coordinate system here. That's important. To get some possibility to select this, just double click on this icon here and select my C axis. So there is an associative relationship to my coordinate system now. And for faces to draft, I created a relation now that's very important to my overall body, not tangent faces. So it's the overall body here. And by the preview, you can see it works pretty fine. Just rotate the vector and angle is fine. Middle mouse button twice. Subtract it from this body, this body. Hit OK. And now I have to, I'm going to make this internal. Now I have to edge blend these intersecting edges. So I'm going to use edge blend again and another selection rule called feature intersection edges. So no matter how many edges are related to this intersection, 
it will always be created and stable. So that's my pocket construction, pretty simple. And now I'm gonna access my sketch while I right click edit sketch and I'm gonna delete all the curves within active sketch. Control and A, delete them and create something new, something that maybe makes more sense like a rectangle. And I don't have to review because everything is pretty well defined. So that's my result. By use of delete faces, which is a synchronous modeling command, but allows me a very high stability if I have different blend ready. Now I'm gonna show you copy and paste. I'm gonna copy and paste this over stuff. So just select it, control C to copy this. And I'm gonna create a new part and draw something very simple. And I'm gonna paste this, Control and V to paste it. And here you can see some, some values that we have to um, clarify. So we need a position for the sketch. Okay, here you can see extrude three, the sketch is internal. So NX asked me for position, it's X and, and Y. You could use another plane, of course, if it makes sense. Draw direction is not clarified automatically. So I'm gonna use my C axis again. And of course reverse it. Stationary face is also from this coordinate system and my target is this body. If you do not select the target, NX will create a failure report, so target is missing. And so you have to select a new target as well, middle mouse button to complete the command and everything's well copied 